Hello everybody! This is Rock Jump. I hate grabbing my fuck Jump. This is so amazing brave for back with another episode of Cuphead's Delicious Last Course. And thanks to the help of a friend of mine, I figured out how to unlock this gravestone thing. Also, I do want to say that you didn't miss an episode. In that episode, I fought the final boss, and I didn't beat him, obviously, because he's hard. But, um, I did see you, yes, so let's take a little nap. So I'm pretty sure I know what the secret boss is. I think it's like some sort of skull in the background with, like, an angel and devil guy attacking you. So sadly, did I- OH MY GOSH! THE HOURGLASS IS DEAD! What the heck? What? What? Oh right, I don't have a smoke bomb. Yeah, I died. Not surprising. Wish you may, wish you might. Your soul's now trapped within the night. So it seems like there's only one face, which is kind of strange. So let's switch to smoke bomb 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 bomb. Oh right, I forgot I should do this. There we go. I don't know what this level is called, but I love secret bosses in video games. Oh, the angels' attacks don't hurt you, but the devils do. So I think I have to kill the devil and not the angel? This is so confusing. So automatically attacks the devil if you just let it go. Yeah, that's crazy. By crazy, I mean crazy difficult! My god! How we are supposed to beat yeah, this guy. Okay. 
Yeah, it's that cloud thing, actually. Wait, what? They were, like, taking damage for a second there. Like, it kind of looked like they were transitioning. Out. Let's just try to survive. Let's not focus on hitting anything. Let's just focus and see what happens if we last for long enough. No, it says there's only one phase, but I don't believe that. There isn't a single Cuphead boss that has one phase. Made far that time, though, so it's good. as the fight progresses as well. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, I made it far that time, though. Halfway! Past halfway! We have to fight that skeleton thing in the background at some point, right? That... I mean, that... Oh, that'd be so cool. I want to fight that skeleton thing. I mean, come on, that skeleton thing looks like the real boss. <laughs> I mean, and it's awesome. Like, the rest of this is animated, but he's a 3D model, and that makes him cool. I like the skeleton dude. Like the video if you like the skeleton dude. So sadly, I did have this spoiled by me for by stupid YouTube. Just the fact that there was an ink. Angel, Devil, and Skeleton background. Gosh, I hate YouTube spoilers. But also, I didn't want to admit this, but it spoiled to me who the final boss was. And to be honest, I wasn't surprised because I was predicting it from the beginning. But I didn't see any gameplay of the final boss, which was good. Because I don't want that kind of spoilers. And I didn't see any gameplay for this either, so that's good. But gosh, I hate it when things are just spoiled like that. I mentioned this in an earlier episode, but a Kirby YouTuber named Meteors made a whole video on how bad people putting spoilers in YouTube thumbnails was. And I recently watched some sort of video on YouTube where, like, um, people were watching old Mario ads, and in one of them they spoiled the ending of Mario World. And one of them was like, was this Profusia Gaming before Profusia Gaming existed? And I'm like, I know that's a joke, but it's so true! That guy ruins games! Like... Sure, but to be honest, who has, like, any enjoyment watching those all the things? I mean, I used to watch those all the time when I was, like, a kid, but, like... Like, I just... I hate spoiler things like that, especially for something as cool as the Cuphead DLC. But luckily, now there's nothing for me to get spoiled then, which is good. Ow! Like, I was avoiding most of the trailers for the DLC because I didn't want spoilers. My goodness. Ow, I should have parried. Actually, I've never thought about this before, but technically do super arts. Maybe the invincible super art. Normally that's my least favorite super art, but it might actually be use very useful here. Owie! I don't know how you're supposed to do this without the smoke bomb charm. The cloud of lightning and that giant laser attack that just switches suddenly. Like, I don't know how you're supposed to touch that without the smoke bomb charm, to be honest. <sighs> Thought I was doing good that attempt, but things went downhill quickly. This match will get red. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ow. So the goal is definitely to get enough cards for one super arc. That's the point in which they'll be defeated. Of course, not counting parries. If I get a parry, that means I get to get a super art in and basically finish these guys off. Oh, I almost got that parry. I really don't see how anyone's supposed to do this without Smoke Bomb Charm. Guide to anyone find this boss, use Smoke Bomb. If you don't, you're not gonna win, I'm sorry. You're not gonna win unless you use Smoke Bomb. With Smoke Bomb, I might have a chance here. But this is definitely... Either this or the final boss is the hardest Cuphead boss I've ever faced. And by the final boss, I don't mean the devil. No, I mean the final boss of DLC. This DLC overall has just been way harder than normal Cuphead. The only bosses that kind of seem like normal Cuphead are the Mountain Guy and the Ice Guy. Other than that, everything has seemed crazy and different, and I love it! Cuphead's a difficult game, so it's great to have more difficult content. But, it is really hard. <laughs> Ow! I definitely made it far that time, though, right? Yeah! Oh, that was so far! That makes it so painful that I lost. You basically need to survive some of the most insane attacks in the game for two minutes straight. Oh gosh, imagine an S rank! No! Actually, since it's the same attacks looped over and over again, I guess you could get used to them, and you basically only have to practice one phase, so maybe, even though this is definitely one of the hardest bosses, it'd probably be one of the easier ones to S rank. But, I'm definitely not going to be S ranking the DLC bosses. I like Cuphead! I'm probably gonna S rank all the main bosses and beat them all with Miss Chalice, but I am definitely 100%. Okay, not 100%, like 90%. I don't want to. Basically, I don't, at least right now, want to try 100%ing DLC. Darn, so close. Look at how close I was. Yep, very close. That's kind of like I said a second ago, because there's only a few attack patterns, it's better to get used to, but that doesn't mean it's easy. Out of all attack patterns, this is definitely one of the hardest attack patterns to deal with. Whoa, what was that switchy roundy? They're switching around so much. Ah, yeah, yeah. You know, before I was focusing on skeleton in the background because he looks cool, but now I've changed. I'm focusing on the actual fight. I know how crazy, right? Ow! 
I got punished for being stupid <laughs> with my jokes because that's who I am. <gasps> yes, surprise, surprise. I am a jokey person. By the way, I saw the word today. It was fun. And by the way, sorry that I haven't been uploading recently. However, that doesn't mean that I haven't been hard at work. Not in any animation, sadly. Um, I don't really feel like I have the animating spirit right now, especially not for another bread show because, like, I know this is going to sound stupid, but just replacing their mouths with a black circle every second to give the illusion of them talking is, like, incredibly long and tedious to do. If... If they could just open the mouths and lip sync by themselves without me having to animate it, oh, I can make a bread show every week. <laughs> but no, the way it is, sadly, it is a bit tedious. But I am hoping to get another bread show with you. And by the way, in case you don't get the reference at my old bread show, because given... Other than people I personally know, no one will. But basically, it's a reference to a game I created in RPG Maker called Potato Adventure, in which the uh, main villain was a character named Beemoth, inspired by Lancer from Deltarune. Basically, a kind of villain that's not really a villain and trying to help you. One of my favorite jokes with him is there? I'm, there's this one other pathway you could take, but of course, being who I am, I was too lazy to actually bother and add stuff to that pathway. So, oh, I just made it so that a text box appeared from B-Mud saying, Hey, you can't go that way. I, and and the main character is like, You can't tell me what to do. And he's like, Well, I actually have the super duper ultra omega bad guy weapon. I mean, good guy weapon. because he's Actually, no, bad guy weapon because he's a bad guy. He's thinking like, Use it to get bad guys or something, but no, it's use it to get good guys because you are a bad guy. I, I got this backwards. But basically, I'm just going to go with what the original text said. And then one of the other people, who are mostly all girls because that's what the default thing was in our G Maker, and I didn't feel like changing it, um, asked, what is it? And he says, an A-plus in persuasive essays. And I say, you shouldn't go that way. And one of them's like, darn, we got persuaded. Guess we should go the other way. That doesn't stop you from going the other way, though. Know? You can still go there, and you won't get anything. And there's this other thing where I was kind of too lazy to add enemies. So, I I have a warning you of, of boredom. <laughs> and that's his, old, his way of fighting you. Boredom. He just bores you to death because there's no enemies. I, I love making that game. Sadly, I deleted the file to edit it, so I can't add any more, but I do have um, two worlds. The second one is stupidly difficult, because I did not know how to balance RPGs. But, yeah, one day I should let's play it. It's very fun. I tried uploading it to itch.io, but the file wasn't, like, compatible or something. It did upload, but you can't download it. I mean, you can download it, but you can't play it. It just breaks. But, yeah, and I probably banned by itch.io. I haven't checked in, like, months. <laughs> I haven't been to itch.io in months. <laughs> Ow. But, yeah, if you'd like to see a Let's Play of it, please tell me it's... I feel like, like... Okay, so there are a bunch of, like, dumb potty jokes in there sometimes. But other than that, I think my humor was at maximum capacity when I was coding that game. Maximum capacity humor. It is more funny than the bread show. It is way more funny than my normal conversation, because to be honest, my normal conversation is not funny. And it is even funnier than... I think that's all the funny things I created. But basically, in case you can't tell, I like funny things. I like humor. It's funny. Yeah. There's also... Uh, so, since I can't um, change the game anymore, I'll just basically tell you what my plan for it is. Basically, there's this guy named Sam, who you see a lot in the game, and I was planning for her to be the twist bad guy. And that... Be honest, now I think about it, that would be a bit of a dumb twist, but I mean, I don't really know, like, 
I just like twist villains, okay? I just really want to include a twist villain. And if I ever do properly make a game someday, I do want to have a twist villain. And the complicated story that's also hilarious. And it's probably going to be an RPG. But I got on this topic just because I was talking about my humor in these videos and how it's not funny. <laughs> so, what was I talking about before this? Oh yeah, I was talking about what I was doing and... Hold on. Next time I die, I gotta turn the volume down on my microphone. It's, it's being very annoying. Uh, no, stop. Stop. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. And speaking of making games, I have been hard at work coding my terrarium mod, Mod of Bread, which still doesn't want to have my icon for some reason. It's still banned it or whatever. I'm saying I need a GitHub website. Like, what? I don't it's so stupid, so... I very much hate that. Crazy how much they switch all the time. This boss is pretty fun though. I actually, I mean, it's hard. That's for certain. But I enjoy fighting this boss. Because it's challenging and just overall cool concept. I mean, this is a cool concept. I was also very close. Just very frustrating. I have a feeling I'll beat these guys before I beat the final boss, because the final boss is just so stupidly difficult. I don't want to spoil what it is, but chances are I will fight him later in this episode. I just spoiled it to him, though. <laughs> um, well, he... Okay, just mute the audio for a few seconds if you don't want spoilers, but the final boss is Chef Saltbaker. Okay, can I mute him? Can I mute him? Yeah, so, pretty, those who heard it, like, I mean, that was something I've been predicting since the beginning. And, I, I, I predicted it pretty much since the first trailer for De Delicious Last Course. I've been thinking, this guy's gonna be the final boss, I know it. And it happened! I mean, like, and I even told my friend, the friend who helped me figure out how to do this, and... Like, the day before Delicious Last Course came out, and she agreed with me. She, like, agreed with me. I yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my gosh. Why am I singing America the Beautiful? Or whatever this song is. I think it's actually the Say Can You See. I don't know. It's like the anthem or something. I don't know why I started singing this song. But it won't go on for long. Because my singing voice is terrible. And it cracks all the time. Oh, I can't think of a rhyme for terrible. The land of the cuphead. And in this fight, a lot I've been dead. I've also been writing a lot of lyric things while I've been away on my few vacation. It wasn't like a proper break like I take sometimes. It was just like... For some reason, I stopped, and I don't know why. I just was kind of too lazy to do. You know, I find that I'm just a lazy person. I think everyone agrees with me. Like, I'm just lazy. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just, like, who I am, but, like, I always feel tired. 
Always. Like, always feel tired. And what was that about? I was trying to get a parry in, but I ended up dying. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. The angel has horns, too. That means the angel is actually evil, because the angel has horns, too. I thought it was suspicious that the angel had fur, too. I think... They are both demons, and one of them is just disguised as an angel. That's going to be twist at the end. You know, I wouldn't be able to download it, but I would like someone to create some sort of Cuphead mod that makes this boss harder by making both of them devils instead of angels. That would make it... To be honest, it's, it wouldn't be that much more difficult, but it would still just be that little bit more difficult. Maybe even add an extra platform. I mean, the potential for making this boss... Maybe the guy in the background could come and slap the middle of the battlefield every once in a while. That would actually be cool. I would like that. There should be some sort of an expert mode. An expert mode. They should have it so he slaps the battlefield. He just slaps it. Slap. And you know I'm right. <laughs> be honest, nobody agrees with me, if anything. Earlier today, I tried claiming that the ending of the new Thor movie was better than Endgame, which I've changed my mind about. As I stated in that video, that I changed my mind while I was driving back home. But overall, if you haven't seen Thor, just know that the ending is magnificent. It's definitely not as good as Endgame, but it's on par. It is on par with Endgame. Also, those who love the theater scene in For Ragnarok, you're in luck. It's back. It's back. Again. Try not to spoil too much. Other than Hella is fat. <laughs> okay, that's probably rude to the actress who plays her, but like... <laughs> like... The actress who plays the actress playing Hella... Okay, that was a bit of a mouthful. Is a bit chubby. But given so am I, so I'm a bit of a hypocrite, aren't I? Yep, I'm such a hypocrite. Like the video if you think I'm a hypocrite. Which I am. I am such a hypocrite. Okay. Ooh. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, I almost got that period. I wonder what would happen if you only attack the angel. Would you get a bad ending? I assume that's what would happen. Because you don't want to kill an angel. I mean, that's mean. Who here would kill an angel? Not me. I wouldn't do that. Who does that? Unless it's a video game bad guy. <laughs> Although given, I'm sure many Kirby players have killed an angel before that being 0-2. But given Zero Two is an angel, I mean, he looks like an angel, but he isn't an angel. Nobody thinks Zero Two is an angel. I mean, he's not an angel. He's an evil. He's an evil angel. He's like, like Satan. <laughs> okay, come on. One really good thing about Zero Two is his song that plays during the fight. I think we can all agree that whatever the name of the song that plays during the Zero Two fight is, is one of the best songs in Kirby ever. Up there with Crowned, Green Greens, and Welcome to the New World. Those are like my four favorite Kirby songs. Also really like whatever the one that plays during Star Dreams fight is. That one's good. Ay, 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 ay. You know, the background is actually pretty cool. I mean, obviously there's the cool skeleton guy. I mean, he's a cool guy. Everyone likes the cool skeleton guy. Well, I don't know. I've never seen any. I haven't seen any Let's Plays with this boss, so I don't know if everyone likes the cool skeleton guy. I like the cool skeleton guy. I like the cool skeleton guy. Okay? And I'm not afraid to admit that I like the cool skeleton guy. I mean, look at it. He's just cool. 
You can't be that cool. I can't be that cool. Only the skeleton can be that cool. I don't know why I'm, like, fanboying over a skeleton in a video game. I just ran right off the platform, which is usually something I do. Not just in Cuphead and like Smash Bros. Do anything where you can walk off platforms, I just do. Even in Mario, I do that. I just walk off platforms in video games. And it's terrible. I should break that habit. Oh no, that was bad hit. So to survive, I need to get hit every two cards. Because then I would get five cards. This, this fight is like five cards long. No! Oh! Maybe I should use EXs. Now I'm gonna save up for a super just in case. I find that what you wanna do is not jump. I don't know why I'm gonna start, there's only one face. I guess I was just doing really badly there. Yeah, I'm, before even the first card ended, I got hit twice. It's not good. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Oh my gosh, I was turning left because I thought that I would hit the laser, but it turns out I just barely sped past it, so yeah, it was bad. But I did do good not getting hit for the first two cards. I love how cards are also kind of a way to see your progress in a Cuphead fight. Oh, here's a theory, maybe you only do damage to the demon. Maybe you don't do this. The angel! I! Trying to get a parry in. I didn't. Ah. 
don't know why I was trying to parry fireballs. That was dumb. Let's try and get a parry in there. If I could get a parry in, I could probably win the fight. But of course, that would be insanely difficult because of how they switch every five se not even every five seconds. Well, it's not even that. It's like every five milli 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 seconds. Every five zeno seconds. Is that a word? Is zeno seconds a word? Well, it is now, I decided. Walk right off. Look how the noise of the narrator is kind of drowned out. Either that my audio is just bad. I'm pretty sure my audio is just bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move these speaker things closer to me. They're technically headphones, but I don't want to wear them because then I hear myself and I hear my terrible voice. And it's also screaming in my ear because my microphone is bad. I need to fix my microphone one day. Sadly, I have to use this microphone for when I record on the Nintendo Switch. But when I'm on the computer, I can use normal computer microphone. Which is great, because I love normal computer microphone. Normal computer microphone is great! And yes, I did just turn into Tony the Tiger. And you cannot tell me that I am not Tony the Tiger. That is my... That is who I am. I am now Tony the Tiger. I am... I am never gonna not be Tony the Tiger. I am... I am always Tony the Tiger. <laughs> that was the stupidest <laughs> Given, maybe that's not a good joke to make, given that Frosted Flakes are now six dollars! What in the world? Yes, I know that because Gun Egg gets... Although, recently Gun Egg has insisted that instead of being called Gun Egg, he'd be called Radio Egg. Because he doesn't really like guns anymore, he's more of a radio person. Which is kind of strange. So in the next Bread Show thing, I'll probably... Um, make some sort of joke about that, is thinking doing something where we think he's radioactive. That would be hilarious. Tell me if you think that would be hilarious. I know no one watches these videos, but I think that would be funny. I don't know what I was trying to do there. Yay! I did it! That was the secret boss. They got sucked into his eye holes. So do you not get ranks for that boss? Or you don't? Could it be? Curse Ralph, awoken at last. Say this. If greater form of evil should come. Well, let's see if it was updated. James Curio that inflicts various status. I don't want that! You think I want that? No, let me talk to you. No, he just, he just says that. But yeah, I guess it's time. To fight once again 
Chef Salt Baker in a dish to die for. But man, that secret boss was actually cool. I didn't like it at first because I was upset that it only had one phase. But man, it was cool. The atmosphere was amazing. You get a little bit of a reward for it. I guess it's kind of just a way to make the game harder. Like, kind of like Revengeance mode and Calamity. Something that kind of only makes things harder. But now I've beaten supposedly the hardest boss in Cuphead. Surely I can beat a thing of salt. Apparently I still can't. It's been a few days since I fought this guy, okay? Don't blame me. Marinating your defeat when I complete this acid seat. I don't know why I always give him an accent. He doesn't look like he would have an accent. You know, I haven't been able to place my finger on it, but this music has always reminded me of something. But, as I just said, I've never been able to realize what it is. But now, I do. It's like Cacletta's soul thing. It's like the da 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 It's like the... It doesn't like sound the same melody-wise, but... It sounds like the same instruments are being used. And I know Cacletta's soul is a chiptune theme. But... You know, it's... I think it's Cacletta's soul is a chiptune theme. I don't know. Somebody tell me if Cacletta's soul is a chiptune theme. I think it is, because it sounds very pixelated. It's like... why I turned Cacletta's soul into a hip-hop song, but sometimes that's how it goes. I love reference to Hamilton every chance I get. Look around, look around, it's how lucky we are to be alive right there. History is happening in Manhattan, and we just happen to be in the greatest city in the world. The greatest city in the world. What is No one else is in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. No one else is in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. <gasps> Knows how the game is played, the art of the trade, how the sausage gets made. We just assume that it happens, but no one else is in the room where it happens. <laughs> Thomas claims Alexander was on Washington's doorstep one day in distress and disarray. Thomas claims Alexander said I've nowhere else to turn and basically begged me to join the fray. So I approached Madison and said, I know you hate him, but let's hear what he has to say. Thomas claims, well, I arranged the meeting, I arranged the menu, the venue, the seating, but no one else was in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. No one else was in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. No one really knows how the game is played, the art of the trade, how the sauce gets made. Actually, no, I think the actual line is, line of that part is, No one really knows how the parties get to yes, the pieces that are sacrificed in every game of chess. We just assume that it happens, but no one else is in the room where it happens. Meanwhile, Madison is grappling with the fact that not every issue can be settled by committee. Congress is fighting over where to put the Capitol. 
It isn't pretty. And Jefferson approaches at the dinner and invite. And Madison responds with Virginia and insight. Maybe we can solve one problem with another and win a victory for the Southerners. In other words, oh, ho, oh, a quid pro quo, I suppose. Wouldn't you like to work a little closer to home? Actually, I would. Propose the Potomac and you'll provide them as folks. Well, we'll see how it goes. Let's go. No. What else was in the room where it happened? The room where it happened? The room where it happened? I just missed all the things that had happened, the things that had happened, the things that had happened. My gosh, and God, we trust, but we'll never really know what got disgust. Click, boom, that it happened. I know what else was in the room where it happened. Alexander Hamilton, what did they say to you to get you to sell New York City down the river? Hamilton, did Washington know about the dinner? Was there presidential pressure to deliver? Alexander Hamilton. Or did you know even then it doesn't matter where you put the U.S. Capitol, because we'll have the banks. We're in the same spot. You got what you gave, and I wanted what I got. When you got skin in the game, stay in the game. But you don't get a win unless you play in the game. Oh, you get love for it. You'll get hate for it. You'll get nothing if you wait for it, wait for it, wait. God help and forgive me. I want to build something that's going to outlive me. What do you want, Burr? What do you want, Burr? If you stand for nothing, Burr, what will you fall for? I... I, I want to be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens. I, I want to be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens. I, I want to be in the room where it happens. I, I want to be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens. save that cancelled episode and join it with this one to make a super mega episode. Ow. I'm still not good at this fight.
Marinating your defeat. Oh, no, sorry, I kind of forgot I was recording. Because, like, I, I just go off on these mind tangents. I, just, I explained in the canceled episode that when I'm playing games, I just get really quiet and it's just. I just think about life and stuff. I don't know why that happens when I play things that are designed to get your adrenaline pumping, but. To be honest, I'm a bit of a strange guy. I mean, I'm a living piece of bread. Like, tell me that's not strange. You know, like, how many people do you know who are living slices of bread? Right? Yeah, I was guessing none of you would say yes. You know, I love the crack shot because it's basically just... It's just a better chaser. Like, why use the chaser when you can have the crack shot? Unless you're gonna have both weapons as your A and B weapons, in which case, good choice, good choice. You probably have a boss that you can't really aim at. You're that you're just really bad at aiming, which is okay. Which is okay. You know, I know some people who are newer to Cuphead might have trouble aiming. To be honest, I act like I'm newer to Cuphead with how bad I am. around a lot, especially when blowing that salt away or whatever. No, it's sugar, not salt. He's salt. I'm sugar. No, wait. I'm not sugar. The cube is sugar. He's salt. And I'm a cup, but I'm actually a bread in real life, but I'm playing as a cup in a video game, which is a way to control screen, which is just a display of color. I'm overthinking my life. <laughs> One more sugar attack to dodge. Yes! Okay, we made it to second phase time. Oh good, that super killed one of them! Yes, let's see. If that's two, then we basically need to kill like six to eight. I'm gonna guess seven, because seven is kind of like a lucky number. It's in between six and eight. And there's there's actually seven bosses in the DLC. There's the secret boss, there's the five main bosses, and of course there's this strange guy. And technically, he's not the only boss I haven't defeated yet. Technically, I haven't actually defeated the cow boss. Basically, in the little cancel episode, I was fighting the cow boss again, and I just decided this is too difficult. So you might be wondering, wait, you skipped the cow boss? No, I didn't, because in the video before that, I encountered a weird, like, real whack glitch where I just skipped the fight. Like, she just got stuck doing one attack, and it wasn't doing any damage to me, so I just, I just won. I won. So I use that to skip the fight, which I'm not really proud of. One day I'll go back and beat it. Maybe not on camera, though. Because camera makes everything kind of stressful, because I have to talk. And not only that, but 
I need to have it on not full screen mode, because if it's on full screen mode, it starts lagging for whatever reason. That's why I spent four hours on the easiest boss in the first episode. Given I feel like the easiest boss might actually be that secret boss. That secret boss is actually pretty easy, you know? I mean, he seems absurdly difficult at first, but once you just get used to smoke bombing around, it's not hard. This guy is always hard! Like, my gosh! This guy is definitely the hardest boss in Cuphead. Like, Dr. Call, I think I second tried in my last playthrough of Cuphead a few days ago. Actually, it's more like a week ago at this point. You know, earlier I was trying to call Gun Egg because I wanted to tell him that Thor was really good and he should go see it. Because one of Jeff's, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if one of Gun Egg's favorite movies is Thor Ragnarok. So I was telling him basically, hey, if you like Thor Ragnarok, I mean, I was gonna tell him, if you like Thor Ragnarok, you are going to, oh, when you destroy one, the other goes away. That's kind of frustrating. Boom. Oh, darn. Think I he did three, so, oh yeah, it's definitely something you need to be. But yeah, I was telling Gun Egg that I needed to, I was, well, I was going to tell him that Thor was really good. He actually was going to watch it with me in theaters, but unfortunately, there were complications and stuff, so he wasn't able to come, but that's okay. Which is, it's still a great movie. If you guys haven't watched it, Four, four, you, you don't even really need to watch any of the other Marvel movies. It basically, like, just kind of tells its own story, and I like that. However, and I mentioned this in my review, my bad review, don't watch it, it's clickbait, <laughs> that I wish there was a Moon Knight cameo. Like, a whole movie about, like, mythological gods. It is the perfect opportunity to have a Moon Knight reference. I mean... You just gained the new IP, Marvel, through that awesome, amazing new show. And you tell me you're not going to use it? Come on. Use it or lose it. And I just... Yeah, this is bad. This first phase is definitely harder than the second phase, though. I will say that. I'm just doing better at it because I've fought it, like, way more. Given it took me quite a long time to get used to the devil's attacks. But this is harder than the devil, I think. This is harder. Like, look, there's projectiles coming from everywhere. How is a salt? A chef made of salt. With a knife. Being somehow more dangerous than Satan. I don't know. Cuphead logic, everyone. Cuphead logic. Ow, I got hit. I'm actually gonna switch back to this so that I can... Oh no. Oh my gosh.
monsters. First phase almost feels like a whole fight of how difficult it is. This Lime's attack should hopefully be the last attack phase. Ow, I got hit. Last minute there. Wonder what would happen if I activate this. Well, it's actually good because it attacks everyone. Oh, right, the leaves damage me. That's what my big mistake is. And I don't know why I just waited right in front of the pepper shaker. It's probably because I'm a bit cuckoo crazy, as Mario would put it. I'm cuckoo crazy! I don't know what that's from. It might be from that thing where you play, like, card games with Mario. Eek! Um, anyone know what I'm talking about? You know, one time when I was a kid, I broke my arm, and it was very bad. I do not like breaking my arm. And I just played that Mario... Go Fish with Mario for, like, the entire time I broke my arm, because it only required one hand. <laughs> And then Mario, in funny voice lines. I mean, that, that's perfect combo. You know, and I don't... So... If you haven't seen 4 or are planning to see it, uh, skip a little bit ahead, because I'm gonna spoil something, um, kinda. It's not a big spoiler, but basically, throughout the movie, Thor's girlfriend actually has cancer, which is very sad, but I think they might have done that on, because, like, they might have last minute added that because of Technoblade's cancer. I mean, I doubt it, but that would be so nice if they actually did that, which they didn't. That's definitely not their intentions. But, like, if it was, which it wasn't, but if it was, that would be so sweet. You know, at first when I heard about it, I was like, oh, that Minecraft YouTuber, what? So this must be some sort of joke, like, oh, his channel's dying, something. But no, he's, he's actually dead. Shocking. It's crazy that you only have three hit points for this boss, which is probably like ten cards long. The whole thing is like ten cards long, probably. Probably even more than ten cards long. Like, I'm assuming the last two phases are one card long. And of course, these first two phases are both four cards long. Yeah, that last, um, judging by how the second to last phase is like a little mini progress bar, and the last phase is like a slightly bigger. I think it might be that thing, like, kind of like the first phase of some bosses, like, say, the first phase of Grim Matchstick, where it, after a while in the first phase, it technically transitions to a second phase where he gains new attacks. Like, for example, in Grim Matchstick, he gains tail. He gains tail move. Yes, okay. Ooh. 
That was close. Oh no, I got comboed! Okay, so clearly it's much more than seven. Because I definitely killed like five there. So it's probably more like ten or something. Maybe it's like twelve. Hopefully it's not like twelve. That would take forever! Although given I just gotta think about how long the first phase is and think about... That is the second phase. And now I've thought that, I wish I hadn't thought that. Because, like, I do not want to fight a whole first phase worth of that second phase. This first phase is, like, painfully long. It's almost as long as the entire secret boss fight. Like, what? Let's see if he transitions. Yeah, he does. No, I mean, this boss is definitely the hardest in Cuphead. So does that mean I dislike it? Well, it is. I don't know if I really dislike any boss in Cuphead. I used to feel like I disliked Dr. Call just because it was so difficult. But I feel like Dr. Call is actually fun because I've got now I've gotten good at it, actually. Actually, a plus that accidentally. Basically, I was thinking, okay, I gotta practice um, fighting this guy on A rank, I mean normal thing, so for when I do the S rank, because it was in my main save file, I was getting ready to do an S rank of him, which I still haven't done, and I just, on like my third attempt or something, I A plus ranked him. Accidentally. I was just fighting him normally, like died two times, then third attempt, boom! No hit. So I thought, maybe I can do this S rank. And you know, now that I've practiced my Cuphead skills with these insanely difficult DLC bosses, I think that I might be good enough at the game now to try and S rank those bosses. However, it won't be until the next DLC releases that I'll be good enough to try and S rank these bosses. Because it's just going to be in a cycle where I'm always one, one DLC late to S ranking all bosses. I don't know if there's going to be any more DLC, but considering how what the menu looks like, it does seem like there might be a small chance. If there's no DLC, though, I do want to see a Cuphead 2. I just cannot get enough of the addicting gameplay, animation style, and just everything great about this game. This game is like a perfect game. I love Cuphead. I've always liked Cuphead pretty much since I first played it. It's always been a great game. Oh, yeah. That was sure fair. Ooh. Almost took damage there. Ay, ay, ay! Okay. Oh, darn, deadly darn. And I only got, like, one card worth of progress, so that's not good. Considering I killed, like, I think two guys, that means I need to kill eight guys. But wait, that isn't right, because maybe I'm just miscounting the guys I counted. Either too little or too much on different attacks. I'm counting that. Too little, too much. Okay. Maybe we need... Five cards. Maybe we need five cards. Okay, I think I have to restart because, like, 
this attempt was bad. It was bad attempt. It was very bad attempt. You know, this guy is crazy. He's kind of spoilery, you know. Very spoilers. <laughs> I wouldn't want anyone suddenly jumping into this time frame. And yes, I hear, I see you, Jimmy. I see you, Jimmy. Skipping to this part in the video because you don't want to see me lose to the boss. Yeah, I see you, Jimmy. I see you, Jimmy. Don't mess with me, Jimbo. <laughs> yeah, Jimbo. Go back for once you came, Jimbo. <laughs> no, I remember when I first started making YouTube videos, I would just name the videos after the funniest thing I said in the video. So I purposely tried to say something really dumb to hope to make it into the video. Okay, come on. Oh no. Ah, oh my gosh. Yeah, 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 yeah
songs that I've made. Especially Desert Scourge in Plague Night lyrics. Oh my gosh! That was terrible. That was disgustingly terrible. Yeah, this second phase is definitely harder now, I think. Before it used to be, um... Oh my gosh! Gosh! Goodness! Goodness me! strawberries. Okay. Second phase time. Okay. I was like saved by the hand. Like, you know that term like bad students use when they're in trouble and the bell rings and they're like, oh, saved by the bell? That's me. I was saved by the hand. The hand bell. I was saved by the hand bell. The bell that's a hand. The hand bell. Oh, this is the song about the hand bell that I'm making up because I'm bored. This is the song I'm making up because I'm bored. I'm just standing on a wood board, shooting an assault, assault can, assault, assault. No, I don't want to go into that assault can, assault can. If I can, I want to kill. Assault can with my gun, pew, pew. At least my finger guns, finger, finger guns, ready to eat for everyone. At least I think. It's E to plus. Is that enough? Is that enough? For ESRB, chefs, chefs all bakery. This is the story of Cuphead and Mugman going on an adventure. Cuphead and Mugman got places to go and places to be and places to see. Oh, we all like Cuphead and Mugman going on adventures worldwide. Ah, oh, no. I'm on their side with Miss Chalice through and through. At least I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Da 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 Oh no! Ooh! Ooh! Okay, okay, that was close. Let's see if I get saved again. I did. A little bit. The 
fire is really annoying. I'm just gonna use this and focus on dodging attacks. Not bad power-wise, either. Yes, this is definitely a strategy to go for. Ooh! Oh, he's a snow monster now. Your futile efforts were in vain. This world will be my salt domain. Okay, well now I know the strategy for the second phase. Just stay in the middle and use the homing in bullets. And that was bad. I really don't want to parry in the first phase. That second phase is definitely still the hardest, though. Oh my gosh, save me! The hands almost saved me. But just about did it. I wonder what time it is. I mean, I'm recording this pretty late, but it doesn't really matter. I, I like staying late. <laughs> if I was still a kid, I'd be like, ooh. I'd be like, no, Mom, don't get me to sleep. That's my, like, seven-year-old impression. Although, given to do a seven-year-old impression, all I have to do is do my Spamton voice. Hey, I'm my stepping shot. I am five-year-old Spamton, doing a terrible voice. Okay, my Spamton voice is still not good, but it's improving. I think, okay, it's actually worsened from the last time I did a Spamton G Spamton voice. Yeah, I'm bad at doing voices, except I can do an Indian accent pretty good. This is my Indian accent! I think it's a pretty good Indian accent! I am a Chef Salt Bakery! I'm Chef Salt Baker's Bakery! Now and finally see what a villain he be! I'm Chef Salt Baker in the bakery! Soon the cups will be history! And I use that like a bunch of my songs! It's kinda cringe, if I, got, I can't be wrong! And why do I keep going there? I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. Hey! I don't want to go there. Don't want to go there anymore. I don't want to go there. Bum, 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 bum. I don't want to go there anymore. Anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, I am the Cuphead. And I'm the Mugman. We like to roll the dice. By chance we came on Salt Baker's game, and well gosh, we paid the price! This is my Cuphead song, this is my Cuphead song, I'm singing about Cuphead, I'm singing about Cuphead, this is my Cuphead song. I'm shooting Chef Bolt, I almost said Bolt Saker, what does that be? Bolt Saker! Chef Bolt Saker! <laughs> shooting Seth Salt Baker in his lawn! And I know that finally the battle is on. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. Win, 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 win. I shouldn't jinx myself though. Bottom, bottom, bottom. I know that I can still win. Bottom, blah, blah, blah. If I just try, 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 I can win. And then we'll be tossed in. Stu, I think. Because he's salt baker. That's what the salt baker do. And these rhymes aren't really good. I just wish I had more time. 
Yeah, I'm not the best salt. I almost said salt picker. I meant songwriter in the world. I'm not the best songwriter in the world. I think, I think I'm good at think. Well, basically, what I used to write my songs is some website they used to use as a kid in like poetry class or something called RhymeZone.com. It is so so useful. I feel like I wouldn't be nearly as good at writing songs, which is still bad, but I wouldn't be nearly as good at it without that website. And I know no one else uses that website, and that's cheating. But to be honest, if Lin-Manuel Miranda used that website to write Big Shot, it probably would have taken him a year. It probably would have taken him a week. Okay, maybe it still would have taken him a year. I don't- you don't want to rush genius. And he is a genius. He is a genius! And he's the best type of genius. Musical genius. What? Second phase. I died, I died, I'm dead, I'm dead, and I died. Yeah, see, look how much quicker we went using that weapon instead of just switching from place to place using the spread shot. Just proves how good of a weapon this is. Ooh. That was close. Gosh, I don't even know how there can be an expert difficulty for this boss. It's already expert enough for me, personally. My power grows with much a palm. Your end is here upon my palm. Mr. King Das, I'm the gamest in the land. I never play nice, I'm the devil's right hand man. I can't let you pass, cause you ain't done everything. Bring me them contracts, come on, bring them to the king. If you have a strong, a short hat, I don't really know the lyrics to the song. No, I can't want, let you pass. Don't you mess with me. Don't mess with King Nas. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with King Nas. Don't you dare mess with me. I'm Mr. King Dice, he just what I say. The devil has his price, and I'll make sure you pay. Don't have time to mess round, and I'm sure you will agree. Bring me those contracts pronto! Don't you mess with me. Don't mess with King Das. Das, don't mess with me. Oh look, there's Miss Chalice. I never noticed that before. Cool. Since this phase is supposedly super short, I'm just gonna... Oh, this is the final phase. Yep, this is 100% the final phase. Oh my gosh! What in the world? So we're definitely attacking that heart thing. The mark of my solidity is how scar the fire glaze. That is crazy! Like, in the main game, the devil had a part where you had to kind of do parkour, but that is insane! 
Like, my god! What in the world? Boom! I took damage, that's why I was saying boom. Okay, it's time to get fired up. Wall. fire motif in the first two phases, and that it's kind of an ice motif in the last two phases. And I know it's salt, but it looks like ice to me, so I'll be calling it ice! For some reason, I'm starting to do worse at this fight. Still have a chance, though. Small chance, but a chance nevertheless. That kind of reminds me of that one line a penguin says from Mario Galaxy 2. You beat him in a skating puzzle, and he says, Oh, you might have a, a chance out there. A small chance, but a chance nevertheless. And it's a cool line, because it's not only kind of cute because it's a baby penguin, but, like, it also gives the feeling that the place you're going to is very dangerous. Which it kind of is, but it's definitely far from the hardest level in Mario Galaxy. Far from it. You go there, like, in the fifth world, and there's six worlds, so it's not even in the final world. Now, I find games that have six worlds tend to be the best games. And you might be like, why not eight world games? Well, yeah, but what I find, I mean, I prefer more levels, don't get me wrong, but I find that for some reason, whenever a game has six worlds, it's like, the opposite of a curse. It's like the good curse. It's like that game is destined to be amazing. Like Kirby in the Forgotten Land. That's one. Mario Galaxy. That's another amazing one. Oh, I took two hits of damage. Whoa! I got finished off instantly. Okay, ooh! Oh my gosh! No, I'm dying. Boom! I am Manganunga!
Boom! Saved by the hand. That's my new catchphrase. Saved by the hand. Oh my gosh! A second ago, I was amazing at these first two phases. But now I'm not. Also, everything is sweaty right now. My non-existent hands, my non-existent feet. Okay, I technically do have hands. It's just in my animations, I don't animate myself with hands or feet. Because I don't feel like it. <laughs> Yeah, okay, come on. Hard, hard, hard. For some... Do you hear something? I don't know. I usually go crazy and hear things. So it's kind of strange. Oh. Being died. Maybe just a few more attempts and then we'll call a day because this is very difficult. Okay, if I make it to the last phase one more time, that'll be the end of this episode. I feel like... That's what I make me but Why do I keep feeling like I hear something? That's so strange. I don't know. I always feel like I hear something. These episodes. Tell me in the comments if you hear it too. Even though no one watches these videos. I'll, although given I will say that some of my recent series, like Mod of Redemption and Cuphead, have been a lot more popular than most of my videos usually are. They actually get views, which is not something you see too often in my videos. Ooh, okay, come on. Okay. Yeek! Ay, 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 ay. Come on. We just gotta make it to the last phase one more time and then I can end the episode. And hopefully beat this darn guy tomorrow. Ay! Oh my gosh! One of the few lyrical covers that I'm kind of proud of. Still not very much. This was the first proper one that I made, but I'm still going to sing it because I need a stress reliever. The season is the stationary of creation. Now you shot for sure. I dislike it. Even if I feel very confident about it. 
Like, I felt very confident about that robot song I made, but I'm already feeling self-conscious about it. Die, my gosh, I gotta get out of the center! The fire just sh shoots me. One-shots me. I was trying to decide whether I would say shoots or one-shots. Or kills, or... I was just mixing with a bunch of words. Mixing them into one big word. And that was the big word right there. This is a wall on my wall on Now you shall face wall on the wall wall the wall. Feel the wall wall in your wall. I shall rip wall apart to wall by on wall. Blah 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 blah. But I like I stopped looking at the screen for whatever silly reason. Die, 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 boom! Okay, okay, okay. I got get out of the center, get out of the center, get out of the center, get out of the center. Oh my gosh, so hard. Oh my gosh, I wasn't paying attention to top of the screen, I was only paying attention to Mugman! Still haven't made it to the last phase yet, which is kind of frustrating, and I don't know why I'm yelling. <sighs> must be like... Really dark outside. Because I'm crazy. Now you 
you will bow to me. Thoughts like you always. This is not one of my songs I'm singing right now, it's one of Juno's. All shall be swallowed in subconscious do The world is mine, born from dreams I designed for your doom. So now that dream shall come true, now that dream shall come true. When you wish upon a star, makes no difference who you are. I wished on starlight for an ending, a victory in this fight. One more year left dreaming in the night. This is my birthright. All the years I've struggled in waking woe. Now comes the time to drown you schmoes. Understand. The end is nigh. Cause both you guys I'm gonna fly. Have to hold on brother. He was big but so were others. Goliaths that we smothered, let's be better. Oh, we're running away, we will bring back the day. Free to dream again, cause there's so much at stake. As we dream and we wait, and our adventures are about to be our dream team is here. We shall conquer our Final phase, so I sing the song, hoping to erase the bad memories of the game being frustrating to me. So I don't know where I stand. Is it on my feet or on my hands? I know these lyrics don't make much sense, but I have had time to think about it. So why not just hit? The road you are Madillo Duh. I don't know why singing is what like calms me down when I'm in a stressful situation. I'm sure that's some people. It's not just me. I'm sure people have that too and not just slices of bread. I don't know. I feel like I'm a weird slice of bread. I am like, even for a slice of bread, I'm weird. Like, all my, um, bread friends are like, Oh, bread, you are very weird, like, for a slice of bread. Like, you know, you're different than the other bread. And I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> you know, just a little funny joke I like to play. And I died again. <sighs> so frustrating. So frustrating. So frustrating. This posture is taking a long time, and it is- Oh my gosh! Ooh! Ooh! Okay, tell you what, this will be the last attempt. This will be the last attempt. This is- 
because I'm, I feel like I need to take a break from this boss and maybe try again tomorrow. I feel like... Ow! 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 One more attempt, one more attempt. Okay, this is this is the last attempt. I pr promise. This is the last one. There are no more after this. I must hold on to that promise. No matter what happens. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes, I uh this is the last attempt, guys! Oh my gosh!
on seeing Hamilton. Guys, I'm just so stressed. I'm so stressed! Mm. Help me! Ah. This is so hard. Uh. Maybe be easier in two-player mode? No, be harder in two-player mode. Unless I have a really, really good second player. Like, a really, 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 like, like the developers of Cuphead, or like a speedrunner, or something like that. Because this is so difficult! Uh, I was doing so good, like, an hour ago, and then it's just gone downhill! It's just gone downhill! It's just gone downhill! Like my sanity! Uh.